Hello friends, this is my next video on the topic website versus web applications. Uh, thanks for appreciating my work and this is my next video. Let us talk about, let us know the difference between websites and web applications. What is a website? Website is a collection of web pages. A web, page is, uh, a web page is developed using HTML. And a web page may contain text, images, audio, video, etc. All these things are mixed together by using HTML to prepare web pages. And the collection of web pages makes a website. Usually, websites are developed for the companies for advertising their products or services, or by the government for giving the information to the citizens, or by the authors for writing uh, their publications or for by the news agencies for publishing the news so websites are used for various purpose now let us go ahead and see what are the types of websites or web pages there are two types of web pages that are static web pages and dynamic web pages static web pages are ready-made web pages like this is one example whenever you visit this website you will find this page always the page remains same the page never changes it is written one time and every time the user visits this website he can find the same contents contents will not change means look and feel the design and the contents everything remains same now this here is another example of a static web page like this is regarding customer service dot html here you can see the extension shows that it's a html page next how the websites static web pages works on the websites like here is a web server and it's having collection of pages along with the other media contents like images audio videos etc and the user when he enters a domain name of this website via internet he will be accessing these pages so the pages gets loaded directly into his machine and rendered inside his browser so these pages are readily available on the web server that are ready-made pages here is an example of the ex website we have seen just now assume that this website is having some set of pages and all those web pages are inside the web server and this is the home page and when you click on any hyperlink here the next page will be loaded and so on so you can access all these pages from this web server or from this website now let us talk about dynamic web pages. When the people started web pages for providing dynamic contents to the user. Like here is an example. This is giving the mark sheet for a particular exam. Here a hall ticket number or roll number is entered here and these are the marks for that particular candidate. If you change the roll number the marks will change. So it means it's not a ready-made page, it's a dynamic page. I should say it's partially ready-made and partially dynamic. The look and feel, all the arrangement of the contents, the formatting of a page is static, which is ready-made. And the contents like the marks and the subjects and the name of a candidate and his address, all these things are dynamic. Usually these contents are pulled from the database if you give a different roll number here or a hall ticket number here the contents will change and the contents will be pulled from the database depending on the roll number given here so I sh we can say that this dynamic pages takes the parameters and change their contents so this is how dynamic web pages are now let us look at the difference between static page and dynamic page static pages are just like ready-made pages whenever you go for like if you take a ready-made dress when you go for a size uh, 42 or 40 some shirt size then always the fitting of that shirt will be same from the same brand whereas a tailor-made sh shirt if you go for a tailor-made shirt then the tailor will take the measurement and depending on the measurement he will stitch the dress so the contents will change so fitting will change so similarly in the static pages the contents will remain always same and the dynamic pages the contents may change depending on the parameters given or the roll number given as per this example so both the pages are developed using HTML only then what is the difference tailor-made pages are programmed pages here a tailor is nothing but a program 
So let us see further here as example of a dynamic website or dynamic web pages here is the web server and the website may have some static pages as well as some dynamic pages usually dynamic pages access database as I told you and here the pages are developed using HTML which contains text images audios video, videos as usual but the dynamic pages are developed using the technologies like servlets, JSPs, ASP.NET and PHP let's see further here is an example there are some static and some dynamic pages and here's a database and the pages are sh being shown inside the browser this is a dynamic page let us see the technologies for developing just static pages or pages HTML it is used for formatting the contents and developing the user interface that is look and feel of a page and CSS it is useful for enhancing HTML or formatting HTML so this gives some boost up to the HTML and JavaScript which is used for interactivity like pop-ups and pull-down menus and so on any interactivity required on the page that is provided using JavaScript and these three things these three things are must for developing any web page now when we come to dynamic pages here you can see an example the technologies used are servlet JSP ASP.NET and PHP now servlet JSP if you see they are having HTML CSS JavaScript plus Java so the trick here is that you have to mix all these things together to develop a page and ASP.NET may be having VB.NET or C sharp.NET plus HTML CSS or JavaScript similarly PHP some PHP language and then HTML CSS and JavaScript so one should be good at Java HTML CSS as well as JavaScript and it should also know how to use all of them together for developing web pages so this is a little bit difficult for devil learning all these three things and using them perfectly for developing web pages but need not worry a lot of tools are available nowadays for developing dynamic pages easily without even knowing the details of all these th technologies now let us talk about web application for understanding web application let us understand what an application is see application is a large program you can treat it as a collection of functions a program is nothing but a collection of functions so here is an example of MS Word and this is the user interface this is the main window of a MS Word and MS Word whatever the activities we do inside MS Word for every activity there may be some function which is called at the background so here are some example of functions when I want to open any file a function called open and when you are checking spelling then the spell checker is called when you are changing the font then font loader is called when you want to save any document then the save function is called so for every activity we do in MS Word let us think that there is some function called at the background all the work that we do in MS Word is limited inside this window only inside this window now here's an example suppose I want to open any document a dialog box will open inside this window and which will be calling this particular function and showing the set of files when I select any file this function will open and display the contents of that file now let us talk about web application if you have seen any word application let us say for example MS Office have its cloud-based application called Office 365 that office 365 has MS Word Excel and PowerPoint all this application available on the cloud so here is an example of MS Word which is loaded inside the browser there's a browser window and you can see it is just like how it is installed on our machines the same MS Word inside the browser so this is not installed on our machine this has came from web and running inside the browser how this may be working see this is the only page this is just a page one page that is HTML page it is loaded inside the browser so once you log on to this office 365 website and go to MS Word then this page will open inside the browser and this page is loaded once and remains as it is now whatever the activities you do for each activity a function will be called 
then where these functions are the functions are not on our machine only the browser window is there on our machine which is having this page and the functions are there on the web server only and those functions we call them as web services so this is a web page which is calling these functions calling the function like if I am checking for spelling then the text may be sent to the spell checker it will find out whatever the spelling mistakes and all and returns the result and that are updated inside the browser window when I want to save if I say save then all the document contents are sent onto the server and it's saved on the server so here only user interface is inside our browser window on our machine and all the functions required for this program are there inside web that is inside the web server so this is how the cloud computing comes in we call this as a cloud based application or we can also say web application so how this page is made it is made out of HTML again and having text images so and so and it is developed using HTML CSS and JavaScript this entire thing and how this web services are developed web services are developed using Java or .NET or PHP or Ruby and Perl or uh, Python there are so many languages used for developing these functions the server side functions and the communication between this browser window this page and these functions is via Ajax the mechanism used here is Ajax asynchronous JavaScript and XML so the data transfer or the communication in between these two is via Ajax that is XML the data is transferred in the form of XML Now let us talk about web application. For understanding web application, let us understand what an application is. Now let's talk about dynamic web pages. When people started web pages for providing dynamic contents to the user. Like here is an example. This is giving the mark sheet for a particular exam. Here, if I want to compose any mail, then a dialog box will pop up here and I can write all the contents and say send and a message. Your message is sent as mail is sent uh, will appear here on the top. If you want to chat with any friend, just I have to click on his name and the window will pop dialog box will pop up here and I can start chatting. So you can observe that everything is happening inside this window only, within this page only. But all the activities are managed by the remote functions which are present on the web server. This is how. For checking a mail, a function may be available, or sending a mail and opening a mail or chatting with friends. For every activity there may be some function running on the web server then from here whenever I do any activity and the respective function will be called and the communication between them is via Ajax now similarly this is also done with the mobile application you might have seen Google or Gmail app on your mobile phone you might have installed now it's a very common thing on every mobile phone we find this Gmail app if you see a Gmail app this is just a user interface developed on for example Android app Android mobile phone it is developed using just Android's language just a user interface and when you click on any mail it will call the check mail function and bring the mail contents and it will show them here and if you want to compose and write any mail and then send it then the send mail function will be called so Similarly, the user interface, this is not developed using HTML, but this is using Android's language that is similar to Java. So it's an Android app or on iPhone, it is developed using C, Objective-C. So it's a iPhone's application and I, a sim, uh, just a user interface can develop for every any mobile phone, but every mobile phone application will call the same set of function on Google's website or Gmail's website. 
and Gmail server is having this set of function. So it means these functions can be called even from the browser or these functions can be called even from the mobile phone. And this is how our mobile apps works. They get the data from the server.